the Illuminati plan for three world wars. The first world war must be brought about in order to overthrow the czars in Russia and make that country a fortress of atheistic communism. The divergences caused by agents of the Illuminati between the British and Germanic empires will be used to foment this war. After the war, communism will be used to destroy other governments and weaken the religions. The Second World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences between the fascists and the political Zionists. This war must be brought about so that Nazism is destroyed and political Zionism is strong enough to institute a sovereign state of Israel in Palestine. During the Second World War, international communism must become strong enough to balance Christendom, which would be restrained and held in check until the time when we would need it for the final social cataclysm. The Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the agents of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the leaders of Islam. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam and political Zionism mutually destroy each other. Meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided on this issue, will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual, and economic exhaustion. We shall unleash the nihilists and the atheists, and we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm which in all its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, origin of savagery, and of the most turmoil. Then everywhere, the citizens, obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries, will exterminate those destroyers of civilization. And the multitude, disillusioned with Christianity, whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction, anxious for an ideal, but without knowing where to render its adoration, will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer, brought finally out in the public view. This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. The letter outlines a plan to foment three world wars in an attempt to take over the world. It is claimed that the letter was on display in the British Museum Library until 1977, but the British Museum denies this claim. Some suggest that the use of the word Nazism in 1871 proves that the letter is a fraud, and others say the same about Zionism, but Zionism existed back then. Zionism was made official in the late 1800s as a non-religious nationalist movement arguing that the Bible was proof that Jews had a lawful claim to the land of Palestine, an area that was currently inhabited by a population that has lived there, relatively peacefully, for centuries. Around the alleged writing of this Albert Pike letter, Jews began immigrating to Palestine with the intention of someday creating a state of Israel, which did not happen until 1948, after World War II and the creation of the United Nations. Albert Pike joined the Fraternal Independent Order of Odd Fellows in 1840. By 1859, he was elected Sovereign Grand Commander of the Scottish Rite's Southern Jurisdiction and remained Sovereign Grand Commander for the rest of his life. He was definitely aware of Zionism, and if this Illuminati plan is true, then his use of the word Nazi is plausible. Either way, the letter is worth a read, and the closer we get to the end game, the more accurate this letter appears to be. Whoever wrote this letter had the vision to see where this is all going. By manipulating our beliefs and emotions, mankind has been herded into these wars like cattle to the slaughter. 